Hi everybody, today's video is a calf video and it shows two of my favorite exercises and the first one is the single leg press calf raise and I did three sets here of 20 reps and I figured the sled weighs about 45 pounds or so and these are my two favorite exercises because when you're short sometimes the machines don't fit you that well. So I've come up with um, these two exercises that I use a lot. And this one is just on the leg press and the leg that isn't doing the work, I kind of set up on the side and get it out of the way. And the leg that is working, um, I try to keep a slight bend of my leg, but I lock it in position. So um, if you notice, it's kind of hard to tell from from this angle here, doing the opposite leg. Um, but I'm, I'm not doing it as a press. So I'm not pressing from my quad. So my knee's bent, but I'm not letting my upper thigh move. Um, you'll be able to tell better here on this set. So I have a bend in my knee and from my knee to my hip is pretty much staying in the same place. So you'll see that the rotation is coming from my ankle and not from my knee. So you want to make sure that you stretch your heel down to get a good stretch and then you push up from your toes. So you're focusing on working your calf. It's kind of hard to get used to at first if you're not used to holding your knee in a bent position like that because um, natural reaction is to want to make it a leg press and it's not a leg press it's calf raise. You can do this straight leg too if you want to. You can just lock out your knee and just rotate at your ankle. I like to bend my knee and keep it bent while I'm doing it because I just feel like it hits the calf better and it it hits it differently than when you have your legs straight. And you can try the two different ways so you can see for yourself it gives you a different feel when your knee is bent. From what I've learned um, the seated calf raise hits your calves different than if you're doing a standing calf raise. And the reason is because when your leg is bent, um, that is hitting... Okay, wait, let's back up a little bit. When you're doing a standing calf raise with your, your leg locked, it hits the gastrocnemius, which is the little heart shape on the back of your calf, the upside down part of the heart um, on the back of your calf. Seated things for your knees are bent, hit the soleus muscle, which is underneath that, and that's what gives you the calf, calf width. And um, what I've learned, and I, I have another calf video on here on my channel somewhere. Um, maybe I'll try to put a link here for you. Um, but bending the knee like this is a secret that I learned from a bodybuilder that had some of the best he lived in Florida when I lived in Florida and he had some of the best calves in bodybuilding and and legs he had awesome legs and great calves and this is something that um, that I learned from him to keep the knee bent like this and you can't you get a, a better stretch when your knees bent and you get a better contraction at the top of the movement when your knees bent like this the hard part on the seated um, leg press is like I said, not not wanting to make it a leg press. And here I'm just stretching my calves out. I did the three sets, three sets of the leg press, kind of just back and forth, um, 20 reps on the left and 20 reps on the right, and I just went back and forth until I got done. So... The next exercise is standing single calf raise, and I did three sets. I only filmed, I think, two sets, so I did 15 to 20 reps on each, and I went back and forth on these two. Um, and again, on these, uh, I keep my my knee bent slightly, and it just gives me a better stretch and a better contraction at the top. And um, these are burns right here. And these 
are a little bit easier to keep your, your knee bent and um, make it hit your calf. Uh, the leg press is a little bit harder, but um, if you focus on your calf, you can do it. That's what you want to focus on is your calf and getting that good squeeze. And um, right here on both of these exercises, I'm just showing um, even pressure from the ball of my foot to out to my pinky. So I, I'm doing these just kind of um, what I would call straight or flat. Um, a lot of times, too, I will change my angle and um, work the outer, outer part of the calf a little bit more and the inner part of the calf a little bit more. And um, stretching real quick here. They, they were pretty pumped in, in tightening up, so I just wanted to stretch them out a little bit and um, and doing a little flexing for you. And here's second set, um, 15 to 20 reps again. And... Um, I do like to vary the foot position. Most most of my work will be straight, but then um, I try to hit a little bit of outer and inner. And I think I talk about that on the calf video that I made before too. Um, kind of how to ch change the angles to, to hit the different heads of the calf. But these are my two favorite exercises because there's no... Um, you know, the leg press, the leg press can, will fit anybody. You know, if you're short, I, I bought them out on the standing calf raise before I get a good stretch, even on the top step. So um, I like these instead. And you can also do them without weight, or um, sometimes I will add, you know, just hold a plate or a dumbbell on the side that, that I'm working. Um, so you can add weight to these two and when you're doing them singly they're hard doing just one at a time and you know just holding a dumbbell on one side is is plenty of weight and um I, the seated calf raise fits me pretty good sometimes i have to be careful of um if my calves get tired of not being able to push it all the way back up so um these two exercises are great for short people and give you awesome calves <laughs> Hope you like this video. Don't forget to share it. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.